every next level of your life will demand a different you. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we learn how self-belief makes you an unstoppable force. Enjoy. I've heard it all in my career. All the bullshit excuses and the lies people tell themselves. They say things like, I'll start Monday. It's not my fault. It's not fair. I'm too damn tired. Or my personal favorite, I don't have enough time. Let's have a real talk. You know what kind of people do and say these things? Losers. They have a loser mentality through and through. And until they recognize that the problem is them, they'll never improve. Until they develop a winner's mentality, they'll never get what they truly want. What's a winner's mentality, you ask? It means being focused on yourself and not other people. It means having desire. It means wanting it. Willingness to work for it. You simply have to give it everything you have to get it. You need to shut down all negativity and frankly not give a shit what others say and think. You want to know what the 10 most dangerous words in the English language are? What will other people say? and what will other people think. You're the only person who needs to be okay with how you live your life. You could be hated by everyone, and if you're okay with your actions and behavior, you'll be content. At the same time, you could be loved and adored by every damn person on the planet. But if you're not okay with how you've lived your life, you'll go to bed with emptiness. The losers we discussed earlier, there'll never be a shortage of them. People who throw hate your way because of how you live your life, and there'll never be a shortage of people who want to see you fail. So the key is to just do you. Do what makes you happy and do what you think is right. At the end of the day, if you and you alone can look yourself in the mirror and be content with the choices you made, then that's all that matters. Believe in everything that you are and understand that within you there's something greater than any obstacle you'll ever face. Have faith in your abilities, work hard, never give up and there's nothing you can't accomplish with the right amount of confidence anything is possible no matter what you set out to do your first word should always be I believe in me the most important person to believe in is always yourself you will fail your way to greatness most people allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. When you're willing to fail again and again and again, when you make up your mind to become unstoppable, when you make up your mind to become a no matter what person, then that will then give birth to a part of yourself that you don't know right now. See, most people stop short of their dreams and park and get off the highway of life because of the rejections of life. You will always be rejected. It's no big deal. Jack Canfield said rejection is a myth. It's not like when somebody says no and then they slap you. No, it's just, you know, to me, make no your vitamin. Get excited about the no. Why? Because every time someone says no, that brings you another step to a yes. You're getting closer. Trust me, you will win if you don't quit. You will win if you don't quit. Even a broke clock is right twice a day. As you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it, step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, easy come, easy what? Easy go. See, but when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with the difficulties of it, when you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, learning those things that you don't like to do, but you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. 
And I'm saying to you, whatever you got to do, do it. Because if you don't, life is going to whoop you until you surrender. You have something that you brought to the universe. And that if you decide that my life deserves my developing, this what I do well. And becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me. If you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you'll never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. I grant you that if you begin to work to develop your gifts, you'll develop a strong sense of happiness. You'll get a larger vision of yourself because part of beginning to get a larger vision of yourself, all of us need some area of our lives where we can have a feeling of competence. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that. You do that. Because at the end of the day, life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. And so it's a fight. It's a challenge in life every day. And what we have to do is embrace it. What we have to do is see it as a project to be worked on. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.